Testing, testing. We're live, hello everyone. It's been a while actually, car coming. It always looks a bit weird, doesn't it, when you're talking to yourself. Hello everyone, yeah, sorry I've not posted a video for a while, just one thing led to another. I've got been busy with work and all that stuff, so the usual weekly videos haven't, actually the Euros played a big part, but so the usual weekly videos haven't been happening. But I've got a new-ish tent, so it's the Jack Wolfskin Sky Rocket two dome ten two person ten i just thought i've used it a couple of times and thought i'd show you like a little bit about it and see what you think comments below would be really helpful to let me know but going down to my local park because in london i don't have a garden so and i'm out early it's about 5 30 in the morning just so i can kind of avoid dog walkers and set the tent up and show you guys a few things so i'll bring you back in a bit the space so let's get her out so to speak look at this so the first thing is the pack size which is absolutely massive a nice feature on the end just a little bit of waterproof tarp and that's kind of what I realized with Jack Wolfskin products one they're really really good quality sometimes to the detriment of the weight so this weighs close to 2.5 kilograms then when you take the pegs out it comes down a little bit. I think it comes down to just under 1.2 kilograms, but I'll put all the, the weights up on the screen so you can see them. The pack size is 55 centimeters by 18 centimeters. So it is a beast. You can see how long it is there. Just by way of comparison, I have the Fiol Ravine Abisko 1 tent. So you can kind of see significant difference in size and you can certainly feel, feel the weight in this one. But I think let's let's just get it set up and then I can kind of take you around it. Just point out some of the good features. Let's do this. Let's crutch it. <laughs> Sorry. Da, 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 da. Check her out. She's a beauty, man. I'm sorry about the noise, man. It's so noisy around here. There's like a building site either side of this park, so so really easy to pitch it that took me all of about five minutes which is what i love about this tent it's got the kind of tradi traditional heavier sort of old school pegs that you see i remember having those on my first tent but if i'm honest this is such a cool tent it's the it's the best tent i own it's the best tent i've ever owned just obviously not the lightest but it just feels strong it's massive inside and i'll take you inside in a second and the quality is just brilliant and it's got loads of little features on it it's 220 centimeters length on the inner and that's plenty long enough for me I'm, I'm taller at 195 that is so noisy so yeah i'm taller at 195 centimeters so it's a perfect length for me and it's a genuine 220 centimeters sometimes you'll see lengths quoted and they're just not that's not actually how how long it is and it feels more spacious than the wild country helm 2 which i had previously so the poles are dac aluminium poles i think they're nine millimeter again i'll put all the details up on the screen and it has three poles in total so two kind of go over the, the middle cross section and then there's a vertical bar that goes over the top just to add a bit more stability and what it does is it just pushes it kind of pulls out the center bit just so it got, kind of has a lot more space inside so i've had this up in the peak district i've yet to try it out in kind of any crazy weather but i didn't have any issues with it at all when i took it to the peak district with me it's just brilliant it's so big but then let me show you some of the cool features <laughs> You've got these fasteners, which I really, really like. You can just pull the tent taut on each corner with these ones. So I really like that. I think it's a nice feature. You've got things like this. So this is like a little sort of button buckle section. Absolutely brilliant because it just feels a bit more secure. Top tip would be when you pitch a tent, always make sure the door is closed when you peg it down because it's just you can make it all nice and tall if you peg it when the door's open it's hard to then get the door door closed so there's a great little z vent zip just here so again you unzip nice quality zip and just a nice little ventilation part there there's also another vent 
just around the back. So it's exactly the same thing around here. And then you can pull it out. So nice ventilation through the tent there. It's also got this zip vent technology where the zip is at the front of the tent. So I think the idea is essentially airflow gets under here to add a bit more ventilation as well as the two vents either side. A nice feature. Completely freestanding. So if you want to move the tent around and adjust it, which I just did just now, to be honest, just to get the best location before you peg it out, you can do. You can just pick up the tent and drop it around wherever you want to. It's got the little clips, you know, like the fasteners that you clip into the poles and it's just such a simple design, really easy to put up. I'll take you inside though, we'll have a look. Another thing I really like is these, so you can just pinch them. Rather than toggles, I quite like these. Just slightly different fasteners, and they're all they're all illuminated as well as the guy lines as well, so you're not gonna trip over them, so you're gonna see them if you shine your light against it. But if you look inside, it's so huge, man. It's absolutely massive. I love that tent smell. Well, I'm just gonna lie down flat now. And yeah, so I, as I said, I'm 6'5", roughly. So it's a decent, it's a decent size for me. There's a little bit there. And then if you just look at my feet down there, they are slightly touching, but it's a genuine 220 centimeters inside. The walls are nice and steep. So your head doesn't get too close. And even this, this these walls here, also very steep. It's got a, uh, it's got a really cool, section here which i've not attached but you attach like a cover over here and you can put things inside it like you could put your light in it um so you don't have to hang it up it's got three pockets i think so there's a pocket just down here and uh, a couple here as well some instructions and also look at the vestibule space is pretty pretty big i'd say the only thing with this obviously the weight it's heavy but it doesn't have a door each side which the which the helm 2 does have so there's no door that side but minor complaint that it's massive inside i was up in the peak district a couple of weeks ago with the fuel raven abisco flies it's tiny inside i mean it's a proper really strong four season tent but it is super tiny inside but this just this just feels such good quality. I've yet to take it out in any like extreme conditions or anything too windy, but or rainy. But I'm really keen to do that just to see kind of how it how it holds up. Really, there's also a huge amount of headroom. I mean, I'm sitting up. It's 105 centimeters tall on the inner. I'm sitting up, and my head is nowhere near touching the roof. You can see how thick that bungee is there. This is just on the back of the tent, which holds the back section down. You can see it there. So it just feels the whole thing like amazing, amazing quality. So yeah, in a nutshell, fantastic, fantastic tent. A little bit on the heavy side, it's not gonna suit you if you're gonna go on a, like a long trail for days and days of walking. If you're just up in the mountains for one or two nights, I reckon this is gonna be really ideal. As I say, I've yet to try it out in like really extreme weather, but I think like looking at it, I think it's it's gonna be really, really strong and ideal for that kind of stuff. Right, we're done, we're done. Guys, that was just a short one. It's so noisy around here, man. Even, look at this. <laughs> Planes are already back in. So just a short video to ease me back into things a little bit in terms of creating the content. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit a like on the video if you did. Hit the bell notification so you can see any more uploads when I upload the videos and subscribe if you're new. It would really help me out. We'll be heading up into the mountains next week for a camping trip. So I can't wait for that. It's been, it's been a while since I've been out. Also hit me up on the socials. See below, I'm on Instagram. It's the main one I use, but also Twitter as well and a bit of Facebook. So. Him up on those. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care, everyone.
Peace.